All right, good morning. Back at the farm. As of right now, it looks like we probably got about uh, two to three inches of snow, something like that. But it's drifting pretty good. So, grab the bunk blower and here we go. Feeding must continue. You guys like the ice on the windshield? Can't get rid of it. It's cold. Wind's really blowing. You know, this job really blows. In this bunk clean here. But that's nice. Bunk covers on the barn. I wish we had bunk covers everywhere. You don't have to do this. Otherwise, what has to happen is you scoop. And I don't want to scoop. Nobody here wants to scoop. So we bought this. No one wants to scoop. Thousands of feet. So, just keep doing this for the next few hours. Um, we've got guys pushing up alleyways. So that way the feed trucks can start feeding and uh, making up some piles and we'll start going through the pens again. We literally just got them done uh, yesterday with uh, the last one haul that we had being able to being able to haul all the piles out and get the piles clean. Looks like we get to do it all again. So that's how it goes here when it snows on the feed lot. The worst part about this kind of weather is Frozen fountains. That one's doing pretty good. This one here has an electrical issue. So I got a giant popsicle right now. So I found out that uh, we have a broken line somewhere down this row here. So there's two more sets of pens, just like this one on the other side. Somewhere in between. That second to last pole in this pole, there's a broken line because those fountains there are froze too. So we got the electricians here trying to figure it out, see if they can rig it so we can turn the water heaters back on. Uh, but for now, we were fortunate enough that we shipped out a bunch of cattle the other day. So we do have some other empty pens. So we are going to have to move these two groups here do a different pen for the next couple days just to make sure that they have water. No water, that's a big deal. Now that's how you move snow. The 9630 John Deere with the 16 foot silage blade on it. You can get rid of stuff quickly. Sorry for being in the cab, but I'm not getting out. That enough. And Look at that. The electricians are here. But they're having fun too. More snow. <laughs> Got a traffic jam here. Too much stuff happening. All right, I'm gonna apologize for the frosty windows and that, but uh, what we're doing now, we're out in the field pens here that we have, and uh, these cattle have been kind of restless with this blizzard. They're walking around and they're just not staying stationary. They can't find anything that's making them happy, so, um, which is probably normal behavior, but 
the reason why we don't like it is because, uh, you know, we just have fencing around here. The last thing we want is a lot of cattle loose during the blizzard. So we decided to make a berm. We're giving them shelter here. A couple guys running, just pushing up the snow, getting it as high as we possibly can. And then we'll come back with bedding tractor and bed on the other side of this and hopefully it'll give them a windbreak. Stay tuned to see if it actually works or not. But we're hopeful as we'll do about anything to keep these guys comfortable. This by the way is something we've never done. So it's kind of neat to be doing something different on the farm. Then hopefully you'll see a good benefit from. Trying to bait them to get them to go to that new berm that we just built. It's working. That's awesome. Break that we made. Oh, that's enough time outside. Jeez. I think we'll call this video a wrap in the 9630 just finishing up some snow drifts seen enough snow and whatever for today so don't forget to like and subscribe see you later <laughs>